Hello, good evening. At this particular moment in time, we're going to share together how best you are going to answer science paper 2020 in general exam. We're going to use question two, and this is coming from motion. And the question reads, a car has a mass of 900 kg. It accelerates from rest at a rate of 1.2 meters per second squared calculates the one time taken to reach a velocity of 30 meters per second then two the force required to accelerate the car at a rate of 1.2 meters per second squared so we're going to find that a car has a mass of 900 kg this 900 kg is the value for the mass and then it accelerates this word brings in the understanding of acceleration and the value has been given as 1.2 meters per second squared. Calculate the time taken to reach so the velocity has been given. So we are going to involve a formula. We are going to say acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity over time taken. Afterwards, we are going to come up with our data. Then on our data, we are going to list out what we have. The velocity final or the final velocity has been given as 30. So I'm going to say 30 meters per second. The initial velocity has been given as 0 meters per second because the weight itself said from rest. So when they say from rest, they mean this is 0 meters per second. Then as for the acceleration, it has been given. The acceleration is 1.2 meters per second squared. Then we're going to write it down here. Then for the time taken, we don't have. And this is our question. So we're going to say acceleration. We're going to replace with 1.2 meters per second squared. Whenever you are solving physics, always ensure to be getting in touch with, with the SI units. Then for the final velocity, 30 meters per second. Then you're going to say minus 0 meters per second over, we don't have the time. Then when we reach this stage, we're going to say 1.2 meters per second squared equals 30 meters per second minus 0. The answer is 30 meters per second over, that is time. Then at this stage, we're going to say over 1 so that we can cross multiply. 1.2 times t is going to give 1.2 meters per second squared multiplied by t equals to then 1 times 30 meters per second is going to give 30 meters per second our interest is to find t so we will divide with that is 1.2 meters per second squared then also this side 1.2 meters per second squared so this and that cancels so we're going to have the time so we're going to find that 1.2 divided into 30, we're going to punch. So this is giving us, that is 25. So this is going to cancel this meter and this meter. And then second and second is just going to leave one. So we're going to say 25 seconds. So this is our correct answer. What was more important was to involve the formula. Acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity over time taken. Afterwards, the acceleration was given 1.2 meters per second squared. Then the final was 30. The initial was at rest, so that was zero. But the time was never given. And we solved up to 25 seconds. So let's go to this one. For Roman numero two, the force required to accelerate the car at a rate of 1.2 meters per second squared. So when we talk about the force, we are talking about the weight. And weight is a pull of gravity exerted on an object. While when we talk about that is force, this is a pull or push exerted on an object. So we're going to say force equals, we're going to say mass. But when we talk about the force, we are not going to talk about gravity. Instead, we're going to talk about acceleration. So we say mass times acceleration. Then when we talk about the force, we're going to say force equals we have the mass and the mass was 900 kg here so we are going to say 
the mass is 900 kg then multiplied by we have the acceleration the acceleration is 1.2 meters per second squared so this is going to be 1.2 meters per second squared so this is going to be when we say 900 multiplied by 1.2 we can get rid of this point by cancelling this zero then we can keep this zero then we say 9 times 2 is going to give that is 8 9 8, 18 so we'll write 8 and carry 1 9 multiplied by 1 this is going to give 9 and then this is going to be 9 times 1 it's going to give 9 plus 1 this is going to give 10 so 1080 but force is ever given in newtons so this is the correct answer but what is more important force is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration and you have to ensure that for mass we substitute in the kg for acceleration we substitute in the value and when we multiply the answer is 1080 newtons i hope you find this video very beneficial